Hi there everyone and welcome back to Nancy Drew's Secret Recipes. So it has already been one year of this show, which means we are back to Halloween because I first started this with the bento box cupcakes from Saw. And now I am so excited that we are so close to the release of Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem. I'll be making a recipe to celebrate Mid from the book that Mid is inspired from, Nancy Drew and the Witch Tree Symbol. I actually have not read this book, so um, leave your comments below on like what you thought of it. If, if you have read it, let me know, I'm really curious. Fittingly, we'll be doing the Witch Tree Apples and we'll be making ghostly popcorn. For the ghostly popcorn, I have an idea to make it Curse of Blackmore Manor-y ish, but um, never tried it before, so It'll be a surprise. All right, well, let's just go do it. Here are the ingredients you will need. Start by washing all of your witch tree apples, also known as Fuji and Granny Smith apples. Next, skewer the tops of the apples. I found these really cool skewers online. They look like twigs and they're reusable. Get your double boiler ready by boiling a pot of water. Next, take a glass bowl that can fit snugly, but not too snug, and add the two cups of maple syrup. Bring the syrup to a boil. Add one cup of sugar and a quarter teaspoon cream of tartar. Let this cook over medium high heat until it reaches 300 degrees, or until a tiny amount dripping off a spoon, or chopstick, spins a hard and brittle thread. Turn off the heat and dip each apple into the candy mixture. Make sure to coat it evenly. Repeat this step for all of your apples. The maple syrup mixture was very light, so I went back and dipped the apples twice. Now, the Nancy Drew cookbook says to decorate the bobbins with peanuts, but I'm covering them with black sprinkles instead. Once you're finished sprinkling them, let the apples rest on a large piece of greased aluminum foil or wax paper. Let's move on to ghostly popcorn. Here are the ingredients you will need. First step is to pop the popcorn. This was literally the best part. I mean, look at that. That is so cool. Next, put half a cup of water and half a cup of corn syrup in the saucepan. Follow that with two cups of sugar. According to the Nancy Drew cookbook, you need to cook over low heat until it reaches 245 degrees on a candy thermometer or until a spoonful of the mixture dropped into cold water forms a hard ball. Basically, just cook it until it gets thick and sticky. Pour the cooked syrup over the popcorn and stir with a spoon to mix it well. Okay. So who's ready to go in a ghost hunt? Let's curse of Blackmore Manor Fi this recipe. Take a wooden skewer and stab a marshmallow ghost. We're gonna hide a few of these guys inside the popcorn balls. I dipped the ghost quickly into some of the leftover cooked syrup just to give it a bit of a hardened shell and to make it extra sticky. Just like in the game, you're gonna have to work quickly. Mold the popcorn around the ghost before it gets hard. I'll be making some with the hidden ghosts and some without, just to make it a sweet surprise. Also, be prepared to get sticky. All right, everyone, and we are finished. We have amazing witch tree apples and ghostly popcorn. Thank you all so much for watching, and be sure to play Nancy Drew Curse of Blackmore Manor, available at herinteractive.com, and also pre-order Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem. We're taking pre-orders now. Have a happy Halloween, and I will see you next time.